the formidable robot. It seems the cracks were shown in the Robotronical Euroboros. Watson Euroboros. It's known as the symbol of infinite destruction and rebirth in a cycle. How does this entirely connect with Robotronical? Robotronical's staff animators and writers were at the mercy of making the goriest and detailed episode they've ever made. Who were the directors they've tried getting to make the episode? Guest director of the HS99 and music artist Flying Lotus, director of Cell and Fingers David Firth, writer of Watchmen Simon Rollins, director of Marble Hornets Troy Wagner Joseph DeLage, and even writer of Archer Kenny Red, who almost became the director. Instead, they picked up Atomic Monster worker Benjamin Wrightwell, and writer of The Conjuring Daniel Steenbeck. The episode was found on a bootleg DVD or disc of supposedly the complete series. In air quotes because it had five of the episodes and extras. It was found by a deleted YouTube channel, Diary of a Gamer 50, during a goodwill pickup video he did. Accordingly, after the video was posted, the YouTube channel was deleted, and it was reported that Aaron Smith Jensen vanished in July of 2010. The episode started immediately with a clever title card. One of the signs was a neon sign shop. Then the rest shows, Invasion Under the Neon Lights. It started with PC and C12 searching through the alleyways. We're getting close. PC said, disguised as a human. C12 said hesitantly. A rattle from the trash can was heard. PC pulled out his electric shotgun. Whoever you are, you better stop praying I did zap you into next year ass bucket. PC said sternly. Quote, really? Then it happened. After a pause, a group of psychotic cyborgs jumped out and smacked PC and C-12. The two let out electrical grunts and groans as they were physically assaulted, until C-12 smacked one of them with an electrical mine. It exploded on contact, causing the head to explode into chunky neon blue chunks. The three psychotics roared at the two. We need to get the hell out. PC screamed as the two made the mad dash into the city. T-999 came from a building and shot the psychos straight in the head with a singular electric shotgun blast. More cybernetic chunks exploded like a melon as T-999 looked at PC and C-12. Guess there were some remaining psychos. T-999 said, putting away the shotgun. Suddenly, cackling and roaring was heard as everyone in the city went mental and charged. C-12 screamed as one of them sliced his arm. C-12. PC screamed. Mate. T-999 screamed with PC. C-12 smacked the psycho with a landmine as the head exploded. C-12 screamed as the body thudded. After the carnage, C-12 was patched by PC. Someone to point the meeting. PC said. C-12 asked. We're gonna visit some old friends. T-999 said, showing an old pick of F rank C-9 and T-900. Um, I mean, T-700. My brother. C-12 exclaimed quietly, pointing at C-9. The screen showed a to-be-continued screen. When questioned with Sci-Fi President if they'd bring back a marathon of Robotronical episodes, they said the following. It's a mismatch. As the episodes are currently archived, but with the upcoming episodes from its spin-off and a few episodes, we could do a back-to-back -back situation leading up to the new episode, whatever or whenever that could be. To this day, no special event or bumper was shown about Robotronical, 